guys welcome to this video so i've just withdrew my first youtube payment and i'm going to tell you how much it is in usd and also in kenyan shillings because i'm a kenyan youtuber so i'm going to tell you the exact amount that i received from youtube as my first payment check i'm not going to give you rough figures or estimates i'm going to tell you the exact amount and then i'm also going to tell you how much i actually made which is different from how much i received because there's the amount that you made there is taxes also if you didn't know so i'm just going to break it all down to you instead of just giving you a figure like you know what i made a hundred thousand or i made fifty thousand i'm also going to tell you how long it took me to make these because there's a difference between making a hundred thousand in five months and making a hundred thousand in one month no i'm just using a hundred thousand as a rough estimate so i have my laptop here with me so i'm just going to take you behind the scenes to a part of the youtube that only youtubers see it's called the youtube studio if you're a youtuber you know you have this i've been documenting my monetization journey and i have videos on the monetization process i've also showed you my google adsense pin process when i got it i filled in the code and i showed you guys so after uploading the pin i also told you you're supposed to put in details about your bank payment which is the next step when you get the pin you take the pin you feed it there in your google adsense account so after filling that in you're supposed to fill in some tax information like they ask you where are you located so they know how much to tax you because there are countries that have a treaty with the us so they are taxed less so you need to enter all those details so google can determine how much to tax you okay there are videos on that so you can just go online to youtube and type how to fill in your tax information as a non-us if you're a non-us or as a us citizen okay so that's what i did and from there because kenya does not have a treaty with the us yes so we get taxed a certain amount so the amount ranges from 24 percent to 30 percent depending on whether or not you guys have a treaty I don't want to go too much into that because I'm not an expert in that. There are people who've done videos on that you can follow. So after putting that tax information, what I want to advise you is that please choose the bank transfer, also known as wire transfer. It is easier. That means that the money will be deposited in your bank account because you'll be asked to also put in your bank information. The money will be deposited in your bank account. You can just go and withdraw because the money is just there. So that's what I did. I just went with my ATM and I withdrew. If you choose the check, then you're expecting the money to come as a physical check like this that you go and bank. It has its own complications. So after filling in that tax information, Google will tell you you've completed all the process. It will just show you in the Google AdSense. So you wait for your payment. So for me, YouTube was giving me, as the first payment, it was giving me a collective of the money that I've made from November. I was monetized in November. So the money that I've earned from November, December, January, February, March also, the way YouTube pays you, it's a bit weird. I'm still trying to understand it. For example, the money that I'm making this month in April, I will get it end of May if I reach the threshold. There's a requirement you're supposed to reach, which is 70 euros. So if you have 70 euros in your Google AdSense account, then you can withdraw the money. It's not that the money I'm earning this month, I'm going to end it, get it the end of this month. I'm going to get it the end of next month, okay? There are two places where you can see the money you've earned. One is the YouTube Studio, which I want to show you, and then two is the Google AdSense account. So for the YouTube Studio, as a YouTuber, you know that is where you also have things like the dashboard, the content, they tell you how many views each video has gotten, how many likes, dislikes, the comments, all those, and then there are also analytics, like where did your audience come from, and then when you get monetized, you are, they add an extra tab known as revenue. So that is where you can look at your income, and that's let me just take you through it basically guys i'm taking you into my bank account <laughs> so apart from the youtube studio youtube studio you can look at your money as it accumulates after every i think two days or so it updates but for the google adsense account which is where your money is stored which is the money that is sent to your account they only update once a month okay so once a month they look at all that or the money that you've made accumulate it put it there as one amount so you can't keep checking your google adsense account this week and next week it will still be the same amount so let's get into the youtube studio when you come to the youtube studio let me say if this is your youtube okay as a youtuber so you know where the youtube studio is you click here it brings you to your videos there are all these things and then there's your videos so when you come to your youtube studio which is where your videos are it tells you the dashboard 
content, analytics, comments, and everything. I'm holding the phone with my hand, so don't mind if it, sh it shakes a bit. So here on the content, you can see all the information. Cindy, how many likes you've gotten, dislikes, the number of videos, blah, 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 blah. Whether you have uh, restrictions on your monetization, whether you have copyright claim or none. So you scroll to analytics. This is where you get information about your channel. So you can see the amount of money that I've made in the last 28 days is $16. This is just for the last, it normally gives you analytics for the last 28 days. So when you want to see anything about the last 90 days, the last 365 days, which is basically a year, lifetime is from the time you joined YouTube. So when you click on all these, it will all these will change. It will tell you the views that you got in the last maybe 90 days or lifetime depending on what you've chosen here the watch hours the subscribers and even the revenue and also there's this tab for revenue this is just for revenue so when you click on it again it's for the last 28 days but you can also just again choose the timeline that you want over here and when you go down it tells you how much you're earning for the past six months so this is for april this is how much i earned for march this is how much i earned february whatever whatever so i'm going to show you all that but i want us to first look at the google adsense account because that is where the money is deposited once a month and then that money is the one that comes to your account so one thing that you'll notice is that when you look at your revenue on the analytics on the youtube studio it is always in dollars but on google adsense account which is your account as a youtuber your bank account if the money is in euros okay so let's see let me take you into my bank account so this is my google adsense account it shows that this was the last payment that google sent me which is 81.29 euros as you can see here it says your balance is updated once a month in adsense to view estimated earnings during the month go to youtube analytics where which is where we were so this is what youtube released so this is the money that I made from November, December, January, February, March. Because as I told you, my YouTube, uh, my April earnings will be released at the end of May, something like that. I'm still trying to figure these things out. But how much is this in dollars and how much is this in Kenyan shillings? So 81.29 euros in Kenyan shillings is 12,099 bob so this is how much i made during that time but this is not how much i got this is not the amount of money that i got i will do yesterday so i'm going to tell you how much that was and in dollars it is 90.20 which is what i made as you can see yes this is what was paid to me i still have a balance of 15 euros so i'm assuming that is the money that accumulates from the time that google updates this once a month so maybe this is for April or something. It was drizzling previously, but it started raining heavily again. So I've had to use my microphone. So what I wanted to tell you is that that money is what I made during that time. You see, so it doesn't, it doesn't mean that YouTube will give you all the money that you've made. They calculate based on from which period to which period I'm still learning all that. And then if there's a, if you make more after YouTube has updated their Google AdSense account, then that will be in your next payment youtube pays once a month at the end of the month that's why they update the google adsense account once a month so yesterday when i went to the atm the amount of money that i found in my account deposited by google is in kenyan shillings 10500 which is equivalent to 78.29 dollars i'm going to also show you a preview of how much my videos on average give me maybe videos that have 1000 views maybe one that has like 2000 views and then my highest viewed video how much it brought me you know i did this because some of you have heard this saying oh when i get monetized i'm going to quit my job so you gauge if 10,500 in was it five months is it enough to pay your bills i'm guessing no but the thing is, when YouTube, when you are starting initially, the money is not much, let me tell you. That's why I keep telling you, if you don't have a passion for YouTube, don't do it. Because this is something I've done for the last three years, and now this is what I've gotten, okay? So it's the passion that drives you most of the time. Even when you don't get much, even, when, even before you start earning, it's the passion. And then you have the hope that going forward, the money will increase as your channel also grows. You need to make 70 euros for YouTube to send you the money. 
okay? So if you don't make 70 euros, I'd made 81 point something. That's why YouTube sent the money to me. Initially, it had updated it to... I, there's something that confuses me because they, before they sent the money, it was showing 95 euros in my account. So I don't know how many taxes have been deducted, which was supposed to be something like 15,000. But now it's, it shows that YouTube sent 81 dollars, 81 euros. So if I don't make 70 euros by next month, I'll not be able to withdraw. The money will still be in my account. It will accumulate the next month and the next month until the month that I fikisha, I reach the 70 euros, which is equivalent to $77 or around 10,000 shillings, depending on the exchange rate. You know, these things vary. So this money I have made from people watching ads, from people sending me super thanks, super stickers, basically people sending me money during premieres and during lives, from people sending me thanks. I just created my membership, so you guys are free to join if you feel like you want to go the extra mile to support me. So if I get money from all these sources collectively and I reach 70 euros, I'll be able to withdraw. It does not specify that you only have to get it from people watching ads, because that's the least amount of money actually. <laughs> So let's go back into my YouTube studio. So back on revenue, let me show you how that breakdown happened. The past months from November, you see, in April, which is where we are, I've made $11. In March, I made $16. In February, I made $16. In January, I made $23. In December, I made $9. $9 after I did Vlogmas and I uploaded 22 videos. Is it 22 or 23? I got $9 <laughs> from ads. In November, which is when I got monetized, you guys just came through for me. I was getting money on my premiers. I was getting money for my monetization party. Someone sent me a very heavy super thanks also, I think of $50. You know, YouTube has to deduct it. So I made the most money there. So let's go to my videos. Yeah, so let's pick a video that has, this video has 1600 and. 30 views. Let's go to the analytics. YouTube usually gives you these analytics to let you know how your video is performing. But I got $1, 1.56. That is 100 bob, 156 bob roughly for a video with 1,636 views. Let's look at a video with 2,725. When you go to my analytics, this video got me $1.95. Okay? And then my video with the highest views, highest views since I got monetized, is this one of me buying a TV. Thank you so, so much, guys, for the love that you showed me on this video. It has 5,366 views. This video got me how much? $3.56. Okay? And it brought me 55 new subscribers. Oh, thank you so much, my new subscribers. So there's a video that I did that is my highest viewed video. It has 11,000 views as at now. A video of me buying curtains in Sili, but I did that video in 2020. Okay? This one analytics i did this video in 2020 so by the time i was 11,609 views by the time i was being monetized this video already had almost 11,000 views so you see <laughs> it has 0 0.55 dollars because you're only paid from the time you are monetized the 11,000 people who watch this video watch it without ads so it's only about i don't know 500 people who watch the ads so that's why you see the money is not the most even though this is the most views most people usually ask, how much are YouTubers paid? YouTubers do not earn the same amount. No two YouTubers earn the same amount. Because the amount of money you earn will depend on, one, the kind of content you do. For example, if you do tech stuff, okay, tech content, so you are reviewing a washing machine and things like that, you're going to be paid more. Okay, than someone who's doing a lifestyle vlog. So even if you're doing a lifestyle vlog, guys, and if you do buy those appliances, whatever, please review them, put them in your title, let it be classified as sort of a tech thing, okay? Gadgets and everything. If you're doing videos on finance, how to make money, save, whatever, anything to do with money, you are being paid higher than other people. If you're doing cooking videos, you're being paid higher 
than other people. And then lifestyle blogs, we are somewhere there, we are not at the top. We are not the bottom of the bottom, but we are not paying, being paid more. So there's something called CPM and RPM. If you're a YouTuber, you've heard of it. CPM is the amount of money per 1,000 views. People always ask me, how, my, how, many, how much a YouTuber has paid per view? It is not per view. It is per 1,000 views. So even if you get 200 views, you're going to you know, divide that per 1,000 views. If you are to get this amount per 1,000 views, now that you have 20 views, how much will it be? So CPM is the amount of money per 1,000 views. And then RPM is the amount of money that you are left with after YouTube deducts its share. YouTube always takes... 45% of what you earn and it gives you 55% of the money from ads, okay? So if you are doing the kind of content that I've mentioned and others, then your CPM is higher. I don't know, CPM, RPM, those things, they are higher for you. Another thing that determines how much you're going to be paid is where you are pe people are watching you from, not even your subscriber. Subscriber account do, uh, does not matter when it comes to YouTube payment. It doesn't matter if you have 10,000 subscribers or 100,000. That is not what YouTube is getting to pay. It's views, how many people have wa watched this video and the ads, basically. It's not just watching the video, but also the ads. So... If you get an audience, let me say a lot of your audience is from the first world countries or countries with higher CPM, that your money is going to be higher because YouTube takes a percentage of the money that advertisers give it. Let's give an example of maybe Safaricom because we're in Kenya. Let's say Safaricom pays YouTube 10,000 to advertise, to put ads on people's videos. So YouTube is going to pay YouTubers 55% of that money and it's going to retain 45,000. And let's be real, they companies in third world countries <laughs> they're not willing to spend as much as maybe the first world country so maybe let me say a company in kenya wants to pay ten thousand to youtube to advertise and a company in the u.s is going to pay a hundred thousand you're not going to get the same because you are getting still 55 percent 55 percent of ten thousand and 55 percent of a hundred thousand is different so YouTube just gives you a percentage. So let me show you where majority of my viewers come from. I know some of you already clicked because you just read the amount and that's it. But I'm continuing for uh, my YouTubers who want to know more deeper. Let me show you where my audience is watching me from, which will show you why even my earnings is like that. Because you can do the same video. It is 20 minutes long and it has 5,000 views. You can get five times the amount of money that I'm getting because of one, those factors that I've mentioned, the kind of content that you're doing and where people are watching you from. So you can look at your audience generally, like generally the people who watch your videos, where they're from, and then you can also look at them per video. So when you go to audience, still on your YouTube studio, there's something here. Here, bingo. Top geographies, okay, for the last 28 days, 82.3% of the people who watch me are from Kenya. Hey, my countrymates, my people are supporting me. Most of the time you'll find that this is the place. Most of the time you'll find that the people who watch you are from your own country because they relate to your content, you've shared it to their friends, relatives, whatever. Sometimes it's the opposite, but most of the time it's this. And then the number two is United States. Thank you so much, my people from the US who watch me. The third country is Uganda. My Ugandan people. Hey, thank you so, so much. And then number four is South Africa, which is 0.5%. Thank you, my South African people. I normally see your comments. This is where also my OBs and my OGs come from, with the people I went to school with. So I know they also contribute to this. Thank you so, so much. And then Saudi Arabia. Wow, thank you, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has just come up. Uh, I'm here I've been seeing mostly United Kingdom and South Africa. I'm so happy that Saudi Arabia you've joined. So you see, these are the top geographies. But also, if, the, the, if these were reversed, and if, let me say, the top, top, like 82.3% were from the United States, I would have gotten even almost 10 times the amount of money that I'm getting. So that's what I'm telling you, that where people are watching you from matters a lot. Because this country has a higher CPM than my country okay so this is the thing to some of you that amount might be very very small but for me i am not disappointed at all because i did my research thorough research before i actually got monetized when i started youtube i did a lot of research i watched people who got monetized and 
how much the people who revealed, especially for my country, like Sarah Warogoro, she did a video of how much she got for her best first payment. I watched that video. I watched Beyond Being Laura. She used to mention the amounts. And I also watched Miss Wiro, the time when she was doing the budgeting, budgeting of her money. And she used to say, oh, YouTube money, this is how much I got from YouTube. And I could see her subscriber count. And that helped me get a good idea. And most people actually withdraw around 8,000 for their first check. So I was expecting around that time, I was not disappointed at all. For me, this is a symbol of my hard work. It's just like telling me good job, okay? It's not like I was waiting for this so I can do this major thing or buy this major thing or like now change my whole life and move to a fancy neighborhood. No, it's just something that tells me like, you've done it, like you've done a good job. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. So I'm not disappointed at all. <laughs> Please watch those people and watch people who've declared their first payment from your country to have an idea so you don't have this idea of maybe you're going to get, I don't know, millions. And let me say, they're always an exception. There are people like, uh, if you look at Nairobi Fish on Arwa, they mentioned that their first payments were five figures. It's only 100,000 plus. So people are different. But if you also look at their videos, when they blew up, they had an audience of mostly from Nigeria, uh, from Russia. You see, so all those factors contribute, but I'm just telling you that, yes, it is possible for you to make the 100000 But also, no, like, roughly how much most people make. That's why I even did this video, to give you an idea, so you don't have an over, like, very high expectations, and then you get disappointed. It's, it's better to have a, a average expectations and then be surprised. I wanted to make this video as comprehensive as possible, but if there's something I've left out, I think I'm going to go live one of these days, maybe tonight, I don't know, so I can answer any questions that we have. And my fellow YouTubers who've been at it for long, who've been monetized for long, you have more information than me. Can you just help me in the comment section? If there's something that I've said wrong, you can correct me, because this is my first time getting paid, so I'm still learning on of these things if this is the first video you are seeing of me please subscribe and join this family that will make me so so happy i do lifestyle vlogs let's go through my channel look at my content if you like it if you like my vibe then subscribe thank you so much for watching this video now i'll sana and see you in my next video bye bye